calls Amalek, and you have not seen one video from Volcat Malone. You must remember what Amalek has done to you, says our Holy Bible, and we do remember and we are fighting our brave troops and combatants who are now in Gaza or around Gaza and in all other regions in Israel are joining this chain of Jewish heroes, a chain that has started 3,000 years ago from Joshua ben Nun until the heroes of 1948, the Six-Day War, the 17th three October war and all other wars in this country are hero troops they have one supreme main goal to completely defeat the murderous enemy and to guarantee our existence in this country we've always said never again never again is now Minister Netanyahu, in his address to the Israeli forces on 28 October 2023, preparing for the invasion of Gaza, urged the soldiers to remember what Amalek has done to you. This refers to the biblical command by God to Saul for the retaliatory destruction of an entire group of people known as the Amalekites, Edomites. put to death men and women, and children. children and infants, cattle and sheep, camels and donkeys. The genocidal invocation to Amalek was anything yeah, but man. idle. It was repeated by Mr. Netanyahu in a letter to the Israeli Armed Forces on 3 November 2023. Madam President, let the Prime Minister's words speak for themselves. זכור את אשר עשה לך מה עמלק נצטווינו. אנו זוכרים ואנו נלחמים. This is the book of... Oh boy. All right, hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rekaha Kodash. Again, double honors to the men of Grail Millstone, with whom I uh, learn from each and every day. Healthy Shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth. And sincerity. I'm gonna try to get through this pretty quick. All right. Now, you know, of course, you you already know. You know, you should know if you you know haven't subscribed to even watch this video. Uh, get into this video that the elder Yashawamba did about uh, that dirty ass Edomite vocab Malone. Man, he's a damn liar. He doesn't understand the scriptures, and and you know, and the scriptures told 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 everybody that the wicked shall do wickedly, and none of the wicked shall understand. But right now, I'm going into uh, Benjamin Net Nada Nada. You know. <laughs> a J E U U U. What he just said, you know, I did a lesson about it before. So, Lucky, I'm sort of out and about here, so I'm just gonna grab just a couple of scriptures. He talks about he, you know, he he's talking about the Six Day War and how. And remember to how uh, he said our Holy Bible. Well, you got a mouse in your pocket? No, nah, man. You know, you know, and vocab ain't said made one damn video or said one word. About the atrocities, the the the, the man, woman, and children, and all that shit is going on over there in our land. By the way, it's going to get destroyed along with Babylon. Except for the only difference is is uh, uh, Babylon's never going to be inhabited again. All right, so he uh, uh, so that dude uh, 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 what's his name uh, uh, was a Benjamin. I think it was a uh, Benjamin Viskowski. You know what? Let me look that up right quick. Slokia. Let's look that up right quick. Okay. All right. Let's go. Let's go here. Yeah, because uh, come to find out, all those prime ministers have done this. They all changed their name. It's something v Vaskowski or something like that. It's German, I believe. Let's see what is near us. See, uh, BB Netanyahu is an Israeli politician. Blah 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 blah. Let's see if we can get to the point here. All right. Um, so lucky if I can't find it, you know, you can look it up in your on your own time. Again, I'm just going to make this quick anyway. So let's jump right into it. Let's go to the book of Isaiah, the book of Isaiah. 14. In verse one, because what he said, we'll get into KJV. You know, simply what he said was he talks about he was 
talking about the six day war and our hero troops and all this and all that, blah, blah, blah. What fucking Salakia? What Bible are you reading? What Bible are you, uh, you uh, Israelites, you so-called blacks, Latinos and Native Americans? What the hell are you reading? What are you reading? OK, you know, that, that go along to get along that the uh, plantation Christianity has blinded the shit out of you. Look at the black church and look at these things that are happening. What are you reading or are you reading at all? You see, until the Israelites came on the scene and nobody was doing any studying. You know, they were just doing this and doing uh, doing this and doing that. You know, uh, saying uh, the, uh, the blood of Jesus and that's all you're going to need. You know, like T.D. Uh, Snakes, and the, the, basically the leader of the so-called black church. You know, here he is going around talking about swallowed, right? You see, you you Christians have been forced to study and to read these scriptures. So, you know, I sort of got off on a rant, a spiritual rant there, but the shit pisses me off. What have you been, or have you been reading at all? The scripture said, blessed is he that readeth. So, so you got this, you got these people over there in the land talking about we this people and we that people, you know, not, no mention of the other 10 tribes, no damn where, okay? And they said that they had been putting put in that land by a Balfour Declaration. Where's that in the scriptures? Let's read it. Isaiah 14 and verse one. For the Lord Yahweh will have mercy on Jacob. The, the, uh, Jacob is the progenitor of the 12 tribes of Israel and will yet choose Israel, a people before it's a place and set them in their own land. Now, hold on. What did the scripture just tell you? It told you that who the world ignorantly calls Jesus and his name is Yahweh Shai. That's the true name. And that's one of the uh, you know keys to the kingdom is knowing the names of Yahweh while Yahweh Shai, man. OK. All right. What did he what did it what did the scripture just say in the book of, uh, of Isaiah? What did it say? It said until he comes back, who that he that's the chief cornerstone. That's Yahweh Shai comes back and sets us in our land. And that's northern and southern kingdom. You remember these two witnesses, correct? Until he comes back. Has that happened yet? See, that's why I get up. You know, I shouldn't really get upset because, the you know, hey, the election has obtained it and the rest were blinded. And we creatures of hope. That's, you know, we don't know if we're the elect or not. You know, make your calling of election short. Study to show thyself approved. But you get, you know, but the scripture said that he will what? Reveal his mysteries to, to, to his men. And he will blind the hell out of everybody else. And that's exactly what's going on. That's why vocab can't get it. That's why two thirds can't get it. And they never will. It's not for them. Not on this side. Okay. He said he's going to come back and set them in their land. Not a bow for a declaration. You know, not some uh, 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 sh a chicken groover or a Rothschild. Not some declaration from another freaking Edomite. You know, that's another thing. They, they want to talk about uh, uh, remember Amalek. Well, Amalek's a damn Edomite. And in the same breath, you talking about uh, you, you so-called Christians and you so-called apologists, if you will, at the same in the same damn breath, say uh, Esau been done away with. Which one is it? Somebody's fucking lying, man. And somebody's telling the truth. And it's all going to come out in the wash. All things are going to come. Uh, uh, you know, hey, the prophecies are popping off the pages uh, yet. Yet again, here it is. The Israelites pop up on the scene, which it, which it was prophesied to be that way. After three days and a half, what? In the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves, as the scripture said. All right? We pop up now. Everybody's forced to study. And, and uh, actually, they didn't really, you, you didn't really believe in the Bible anyway. You know, I, I got to be honest. When I was, uh, you know, uh, uh, steeped in Christianity uh, or whatever as a child, I didn't really believe none of that shit that the preacher was saying. I didn't believe none of it. Because there was no power in, 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 in the tongue that he was speaking. There was no power in the things that he was saying. It was all plantation Christianity. Jesus never did a damn thing for nothing there, one of us, man. Except for, uh, you know, help to oppress us. Servants obey your masters. Galatians uh, 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 3 and ver uh, verse 8, uh, 3 and verse 28, 25, Salakia. There's no Jew, no Greek. You know, uh, love your enemies. Not, not understanding what that is. Now, I got to give you a quick testimony. When I heard, I did hear in the church that salvation is for Israel, you know, and I heard it. It wasn't being taught that way. Let me let me uh, let me reconsider what I'm saying. It wasn't being taught that way. That wasn't the doctrine, if you will. That wasn't the doctrine. But I heard the scripture. I heard the preacher read the scripture. And, and, and to me, I'm, I'm sitting I was sitting back thinking, 
you know, I was as a, you know, a young lad, man, <laughs> as they say across the pond, right? I was a young cat. I was thinking, hold on. He just read the scripture saying salvation is for is, is for Israel. So, I, you know, I was thinking, well, well, what about me? What about what about us? See, not knowing that we it was talking about us. We are the Israelites from, from you know, uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, uh, perspective tribes. Didn't know it was talking about us. That's what Christianity did. You know, you know, so when he read that scripture, I don't even sure if you understand what he was reading. Apparently not. He going to going to read a scripture like all Israel shall be saved. None else. Joel 2 and verse 27. All kinds. Of, well, you know, I didn't never hear that in the church. You know, but all kinds of scriptures, you know, allude to only Israel being saved. It's, it's uh, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah is very possessive about his children. Right. You mean to tell me you done read all them scriptures and, and then, and then uh, at the side of your mouth, come up with all people can be saved. Y'all are full of shit, man. Christianity you is full of shit. Again, it's nothing more than white supremacy. Let's continue on. And the strangers shall be joined with them and they shall cleave to the house of Jacob. Now, those strangers are Israelites. OK, they are Israelites. Slock you. Verse two, and the people shall take them and bring them to their place. And the house of Israel shall possess them in the land of the Lord Yahweh for servants and handmaids. And they shall take them captives whose captives they were, and they shall rule over their oppressors. Did you hear that? Has that happened yet? Did you did you have a shot come back and set us in our own land? Nope. Is there still wars and rumors of wars? Yep. Are the prophecies, the, uh, the MOT to the B, is that on uh, uh, popping off, get ready to pop off? Yep. So what the hell are you people reading? What are you reading? This is crazy. It's madness. It's nonsense. All right. Let's see. Let's see what else. What else do I have here? Salakia. Now, right, let's go to stay in the book of Isaiah. And let's go to Isaiah second chapter. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Let's read this. Isaiah two and verse one. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, uh, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. What is what does that mean? You know, you can't just read these things and say, "Oh, uh, uh, Judah is a uh, was a son of and, 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 and Jerusalem." That well, that's the, the with the people of no. That's this is talking about the northern and southern kingdom, Jake. You got to get with this, man. Read verse two, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord Yahweh's house shall be established in all the tops of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and all nations shall flow unto it. What is, is that happening right now? Or is the least of the flock drawing them out? I just spoke to, uh, uh, yeah, the least of the flock is damn sure drawing them out right now. I just spoke to, um, uh, a younger cat, a U.S. soldier that, uh, somehow or another, well, I mean, I know how he got in touch with me. Uh, it was, it was on Facebook. Anyway, it was on Facebook Marketplace. You know, that's hey, whatever. But I, I just talked to, uh, and he, you know, he's getting ready to be deployed to uh, to where? To Israel. Okay? He straight up said it. All right? He said, my company was going to come up, you know, come up to, uh, you know, uh, to, uh, you know, uh, Western North Carolina and help out. And they, and, and, and they was like, nah, your ass is going to Israel. You see that? Where in the scriptures? And can anybody tell me this listening? And hopefully this is edifying. Where in the scriptures did it say Babylon, right? That great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Huh? When did it say the great whore of Babylon is going to uh, be a, a, a aid to Israelites? When did it say that? It didn't say it anywhere. So somebody's lying. Again, what Bible are you reading? Huh? Verse three. And many people shall go and say, come ye and let us go up to the mountain of the Lord Yahweh to, to the house of the most high power of who? Jacob. There's another one. That's another possessive. See that? And he shall teach us his ways and we shall walk in his path. For out of Zion, a people before it's a place, talking about a people, shall go forth the law and the word of the Lord Yahweh from Jerusalem. Didn't the scripture tell us? Did it not tell us that you will be sitting on 12 thrones judging the 12 tribes of Israel. What's the 144,000? What's the elect all about? That's what it's all about. What's the elect all about? So these people talking about the six day war, you know, uh, 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 Vaskowski, Wowski, whatever the hell his damn name is, BB as they call him, 
All right? He told he talking about our, our brave soldiers and all that. No, the scripture said they should learn war no more. No more. Matter of fact, let's see here. Well, let's read it. Oh, verse four. Here it is. That's the spirit. And he shall judge among the nations and rebuke many people, and they shall beat their swords into plowshares. That's right here. That's what, that's what I went to a uh, book of Isaiah, second chapter four. Okay. And they uh, and their spears into pruning hooks. What's a spear? What's a sword? If they, it's weapons. What do you use a spear for? To joust, you know, to jab something, man. What do you use a sword for? To chop. It's a weapon, man. That's what it's going into. They shall brood them. Uh, uh, what? They shall beat their swords into uh, plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Neither shall, uh, slack yet. Nation shall not lift up a sword against nation. Neither shall they learn war anymore. So that, this, I mean, this, this, this those two scriptures in the, in the book of Isaiah, we could close the book. How could they be the people? They're not the people. They're liars, as the scripture said. Revelation 2 and verse uh, uh, 3 and verse 9 told you that, man. It, it, you know, it simply told you that. They shall what? Learn more. No, learn war. What? No more. Many shall be called, but few are chosen. All right? And that's what we're telling you. It's all really all about the elect, man. But you jakes that are playing and you continue to play these uh, the weak ass black churches, you know, you get up in there and they're just dancing and cooning and buffooning. Oh man, it's, it's an end to all that shit, man. It's an end to it. And we re we telling you, repent before it's too late. That's it. See? They shall learn war no more. Uh, the scripture said, none shall make uh, them afraid. He's going to give us rest from the from the hard bondage that, that thou was made to serve. My goodness. Verse 5, O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of the Lord Yahweh. That's right. That's right. That's 100% truth right there okay now i got a couple more i was gonna make this real quick all right because i'm getting ready to get back on the road get back to the crib oh yeah some good water all right let's go to the book of, of uh ezekiel <clears throat> it's lucky i got all kinds of shit pulled up come on yeah you know, there we go uh ezekiel's what is it Slocky, 34, verse 25. I may be wrong. I may be wrong, but I may be right. I think I'm right. Yep, make the covenant with them. Let me get to the, what I want to get to here. <laughs> okay. Yep, Ezekiel 34. Yep, that's right. 34, verse 25. And I will make with them a covenant of peace. With who? The Israelites. Yeah, that, that, uh, we in the second covenant uh, demon is, is running rampant out here, man. It's, it's strange. It's very strange. Anyway, with them, a covenant of peace and will and will cause the evil beast. Why you think it's, it's called a red beast, a red dragon? It's talking about Esau Edom. You know, the seven heads, the ten horns, the, the elder just went into it. I mean, he, uh, and, and it's not about cutting people, but damn, man. You know, he went into it, and it, it's clear to see vocab and these Christians. Man, they don't know what the hell's going on. They weren't given the mysteries and understand that, uh, these dark sentences and saying. They weren't given no uh, no understanding because of that. You know, uh, uh, in, uh, referring to the scriptures, none of it. He showed us this word under Jacob, man. That's why that's why they blinded, right? All right, and will cause the evil beast to cease. Out of the land, they shall dwell safely in the wilderness and sleep in the woods. Verse 26, and I will make them the places round about my hill and blessing, a blessing, Salakia. And I will cause the shower to, uh, to shower to come down in his season. They shall be showers of blessing. Does what does uh, being at war with your neighbor? Uh, that's not prophesied. That's not prophesied to happen. Not in the kingdom. See, when the children of Israel go back to their land, Yahawashai takes them back. And they shall learn war no more. We just read it. All right? I mean, it's simple. It's simple to see it. It's simple to plain to see it. But if you can't see it, hey, Jack, I don't know what to tell you. Okay? Let's jump on down. Um, yeah, there it is right there. That's it. All right? Let's jump on down to verse 28. And they shall no more be a prey. Who's the prey? You know, then they send gifts one to another and these two prophets did torment them. OK, that was us. And these two prophets is northern and southern kingdom. 
The scriptures very plainly told you that he would join them together one stick in these last days. And it's happening. You know, hey, that's a the, the, uh, Esau Edom is seeing these things, man. He's seeing these things, but it's hard. It's it's hard for him to to really understand. But it's the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that he has bestowed upon his men that's out here. And they can see that. They can see that there's something different. We just we just, we we, we just, just regular niggas. OK, they can see that. But they, of course, they still going to have zero respect as the, the wisdom of Solomon. They accounted our life madness and is in to be without honor. OK, but they can see that there's something different and there's 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 something up, you know, not just going along to get along, not just saying this and saying it. And, and, it's, and, and it's not an H.A.T. thing. It's a truth thing. It's 100 percent truth. They see that, man. And that's what's got them, uh, you know, uh, uh, running, for, ducking and running for cover. You see, it's, it's, it, you know, they they down in the trenches, man. It's a spiritual war. Hell, all of us are really. OK, they still got their foots upon our necks. But it's the, it's the lack of, um, you know, like, like the scripture said in Wisdom of Solomon, the fifth of Solomon, the fifth chapter. Is that they accounted his life madness. How can he be? You know, how can he be this? How can he be that? Matter of fact, I'll go there. Okay, let's go to Wisdom of Solomon. We'll read it. Okay, you see. All right. Yep, yeah, there it is right there. Wisdom of Solomon 5 and verse 1. Then shall the righteous man stand in great boldness. And that's what's going on. Before the face as such has afflicted him and made no accounts of his labors, when they see it, they shall be troubled with terrible fear. That's what's happening. That's what's going on. You can you can clearly see it. Even two thirds, everybody in their damn mama trying to come up against the Hebrew Israelites. Here it is. There's all kinds of shit going on across this earth. But the whole problem with every damn thing is the Hebrew Israelites. Like we the worst thing to ever happen. But the scripture said that uh, these offenses must come. Right. And there shall be amazed at the strangeness of his salvation so far beyond all they look for. And they repenting and groaning for anguish of spirit shall say within themselves, this was he whom we had sometimes in derision. And a proverb of reproach, we fools accounted his life madness and his end to be without honor. There it is right there. Simple and plain, baby. See, it's right there. OK. What the hell else I have pulled up? Oh, yeah. Let me read the rest of Ezekiel 34. All right. Um, yep. And not shall make them afraid. No, I read the rest of that. You know, should I might just close out there because I got to get going. All right. The water to you. How about shimmy? I was shy. These people are crazy as hell. Oh, 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 the book of Matthew. Let's go back to the book of Matthew. The book of Matthew. All right. Um, 11. All right, there it goes. Please excuse the tapping. You know, I'm just tapping on my phone, pulling up Matthew 11, verse 28 in red letters right here. Come upon me and ye and, and uh, all ye that labor and are heavily laden and I will give you rest. Did you hear that? And I will give you rest. And people over there ain't got no damn rest. Talking about, uh, remember, remember Amalek? Nigga, you are Amalek. You know? And, and they know what's going on. The higher ups, man, you know, BB, and they know what the hell is going on. But, you know, this whole world is in gross darkness and they can't understand the scriptures because it wasn't given to them, period, point blank. And that's it. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rakaha, Kwadash. Yep, that's right. Uh, uh, Shar, uh, uh, Labrakarium, Shar Yasharala, man. You know, peace to the hopeful elect, man. That's what's up. All right. Again, hopefully this was edifying, you know, and double honors to the apostles and the elders, the great millstone with whom I learn from each and every day. And, and you know what? Hey, look, continue. Please continue on to chant this place down because it's, you can clearly see it. The infrastructure has gone. All right. Everything. Everything's gone, man. Egyptian is being set against Egyptian. Stay occupied in prophecies. That's all we get. Hey, the prophecies going to fix everything. Right. It's going to fix everything, but no man knows the time. That's why we stay ready. So we don't have to get ready. All right. Again, chant this place down. Kwam Yasharala and Wa Abai Babal. Boom. Shalom.